Well, a debate over charter schools has led to threats from Florida's education commissioner to cut funding for Hillsborough County Public Schools. Today, the school board backed down rather than lose that money. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the Hillsborough County School Board to explain. Jeff. Good evening. Well, earlier this month, the Hillsborough County School Board had voted to revoke the charter of four private schools. But today, after getting a threatening letter from Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran, they reversed that decision. But some school board members aren't happy about that. Earlier this month, Hillsborough County School Board members voted to revoke the charters of four schools. Kids Community College, Pivot Charter, and South Shore Charter, all in Riverview and Woodmont Charter in Temple Terrace, saying these schools did not meet requirements for gifted and disabled students, and two of the schools had financial stability issues. Then they received this letter from State Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran, threatening to cut off state funding if the charters were not reinstated. I'm also very concerned about the overreach. This morning, school board members questioned if Corcoran had the legal grounds to do this, and parents and teachers spoke up for the charters. There is a way to right this wrong. Renew our charter. But facing a loss of nearly $1 billion in state funding, school superintendent Addison Davis said the board should reverse its decision. My recommendation has to be to, to move forward with approval of all four charter schools. Prompting one school board member to suggest she's starting to see a pattern from Richard Corcoran. I'm growing more and more concerned about the repeated actions by the state to try to usurp the authority given to local elected school board members. The Hillsborough County School Board did vote eventually to return the charters to those four schools, but they put those schools on notice. They must comply with state and federal educational laws and requirements, and if they don't, they may have their charters revoked again. In Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.